Sometimes, art that connects a community can be found just around the corner. In this case, just around the corner from Main Street in Hayes, Kansas. A laid-back location where limestone in various shapes and sizes serves as a lifelong companion to local stone sculptor Pete Felton. Felton, and uh, uh, I've been carving since uh, 1957, and uh, was it 60 years or so, and uh, so I've got a chance to do a lot of statues, public work, uh, but a lot of small work too, and. Uh, one thing they don't teach you in school is how to make money. So <laughs> you don't get rich doing this, but uh, it's fun to do. You know, it's a, uh, you just take a, a rock or a piece of wood and you turn it into something, good or bad. There's something satisfying about that. You know, I mean, it's a challenge, but you did it. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of little rewards carving or painting, things like that. I went into the service and when I came out I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I went to the college down here and took a bunch of science courses. And the science courses turned out to be a perfect background because I work with limestone. I got to know what it is mm -hmm. and what the little fossils are in there, you know. Right. And the geology of the area, I always liked geology. Uh, one summer I decided I'd take a painting course because I used to draw and uh, I thought well I'd try to paint but it didn't work very well. I, I don't seem to have a real good color sense. Mm -hmm. I don't even dream in color. I dream in black and white. Mm -hmm. So uh, I said well you know I got a month to school starts again. I'll try carving some. I didn't know if you carve the stone around here. It's just around you know. And uh, so I went out in the country and got a stone and carved a, a portrait of Abraham Lincoln. It turned out that it, it looked like him. You never know, especially on the first one. And I said, well, this is kind of fun, you know. I mean, uh, it doesn't cost anything, and it's a challenge. And so I got another rock and just started carving and finding out about rocks and which ones work good and which ones don't. And it just sort of, I dropped out of school because I was getting a little obsessed with stone, uh -huh. you know. Mm -hmm. So it worked out really well. There's a piece that can be seen in Felton's face as he loses himself in the giant rocks. There's a delighted wonder as his dusty, rugged hands dig in to find the secrets buried in the stones. And I wonder, have those faces always been there? Solid, enigmatic, rough-hewn, faces uncovered by an artist's hands.
the fun things is getting an idea that you think you could spend lots of time on it, stick to it. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you do something that's too complicated, you know, well, that ain't going to work. You gotta, you gotta get something I can do. Uh, but starting is always fun because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Ending, sometimes you don't know when to end. Mm -hmm. So you just try to help yourself as you go along. Pete Felton's art is as much a part of the western Kansas landscape as endless acres of buffalo grass and bending cottonwoods. Carving stones harvested from remnants of the ancient sea, now known as Kansas, Felton reveals broad-faced immigrants, pioneers, and characters who have found a home on his limestone pedestals.